The Wichita Mountains rise up majestically from the plains near Medicine Park, Oklahoma. The landscape is flat in this part of the country, but the mountains rise abruptly from the Great Plains, forming a beautiful landscape of boulders and grass. As America's very first national wildlife refuge, the Wichita Mountains are home for a variety of large animals, ranging from longhorn cattle to the American bison, even the prairie dog. Visitors can walk, hike, or drive to the top of 2,664 foot tall Mount Scott for a 360 degree view of the surrounding countryside. At first glance, the top and sides of Mount Scott look like giant piles of boulders made up of a reddish colored rock. In fact, gravity pulls these boulders down the hill in rivers of solid rock. The rocks contain larger or coarse mineral crystals of quartz and feldspar that are all visible to the naked eye. We can tell by the large size of the crystals here that they cool slowly deep underground. We call these rocks granites and these types of rocks with large crystals are called intrusive or plutonic igneous rocks. Nearby, we can see a rock with similar composition to the granite, but fine-grained crystals. We've arrived to find a strange black rock cutting vertically through a red one. Behind me, these pink cliffs are made up of a very fine-grained rhyolite. The crystals are too fine to see with the naked eye. Rhyolite is an eruptive volcanic version of granite. Rhyolites are silica-rich volcanic rocks that, like basalts, cool quickly at or near the Earth's surface. Their presence here indicates that this area has had a volcanic past, and magma cooled at or very near the surface here. An unusual black rock cuts straight through the red rocks here. When we look more closely, though, we can see small crystals. These rocks were cooled near the Earth's surface, but not at it. So this was not lava. This type of rock is called diabase, or dolerite. Igneous rocks that form vertically like this are called dikes. Dikes form when magma intrudes into a fracture or break in a pre-existing rock and hardens to form a vertical rock. We can see on the edges where hot magma was actually melting and mixing with the pre-existing rock. The rocks of the Wichita's are largely granites, which are common quartz-rich, coarse crystalline igneous rocks. These granites cooled slowly, deep underground, but some of that magma has escaped to near the surface to form red-colored rhyolites, which are seen in the area as well. A later episode of volcanics occurred, bringing in younger, metal-rich gabbros and dikes of basalt. This pink rock is Mount Scott granite and formed late in the life of the magma chamber. As it was cooling towards the end of its life, fractures started to develop in the new rock. And from deep below a new magma, this basalt flowed up into those fractures and started to mix with the cooling granite. So this is a beautiful spot where we can see two types of magmas mixing, like chocolate in the vanilla ice cream cone. This mixed, layered sequence of igneous rock is what makes the Wichita Mountains the range that it is today, such a beautiful and geologically complex and unique place. <laughs>